Young Thug recently uh, did an article where he admitted that 90% of his clothes are women's clothes. That kind of surprised me. But he is a very skinny dude. He is. He doesn't have like a masculine build. Right? No. And I guess if you want to have your shit super tight, you got to go into the women's section. I guess so. I mean, I I do knew, know some dudes back in the days that might have had small feet and they could wear like girl sneakers and shit like that. And they'd be able to get like colors that regular <laughs> dudes can't get. You know what I mean? Like, and and nobody would necessarily say nothing. Depend, you know, not no fruity sneaker now, but just some a other. Jordan, yeah, because yeah, certain Jordans come out in, in girls' colors. Yeah, and I feel you. I've I've seen that before. Um, That's a little different. But you know, having ninety percent of your wardrobe be some girl shit, like I don't understand that, man. I'm not gonna understand it. You're not gonna make me understand it. Um, That's some that's some other shit to me. Like, hundred percent of my wardrobe is some man shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't have any female pieces in my wardrobe. Yeah. I, one percent is not female. Not a actually. one. Like yeah. zero. It's a Zilch. zero. Zero percent. Like yeah. Like. But then again, I have size eleven feet. So, Same here. So you know, no, no. <laughs> even if I wanted to buy women's shoes, there are none available to me. And I am a extra nah, large. Nah, yeah, is. If you're into that, if you're yeah, into I guess that. Bruce Jenner got got high they heels. They got websites and all of that. Like, okay, I heard yeah, Wendy okay, Williams fair enough. If I really before. wanted to have some women's shoes, I could get some women's shoes. You're right, even though they're not readily available. Yeah, if I went on get you some custom, some custom, yeah, <laughs> or some ones that they make for like the trannies and all of that. You know what I mean? Like they, there's this shit out there for them. Yeah, so. A lot of people were in, in an uproar, of course, over this. I feel like Young Thug like presses his button every so often just to turn up the publicity. Like, okay, so here's too. the publicity button. I'm gonna say some gay shit, and boom, I'm trending. Right. I could trend every time. Every time Young Thug presses the gay button, he trends. Right. And and let's just say. Let's say he's not gay, cause he probably, maybe probably not gay, but he probably don't give a fuck if you think he's gay. Yeah, you see, and or that's he, his that's his weapon. Or he's just, and he's yeah. trying to make you confused too by doing a lot of shit because he knows it's some publicity shit. But this just goes back to, how did we get here? <laughs> like, like how did we get here? That, let's just say, for argument's sake. A heterosexual man doesn't mind planting seeds of being gay in your mind of himself just in order to propel himself with popularity and money. Do you know who does this? In this society. Do you know who else does this? Who? Daylight. Ah. Yeah, he actually paints that shit on his face every day. I seen him draw that shit on his face once. He's like, yo, y'all been trolled. This ain't a tattoo. Yeah. I think the tattoo is real. Yo, I saw him draw some shit. It looked like nothing okay. was there, and then some shit was there. I'm telling right. you. But they do have makeup out there. Okay. See what I'm saying? Well, I don't know. He, yeah, he. But yeah, he's definitely trolling motherfuckers and just doing whatever he got to do. He don't care. Yeah, he'll, he'll say he loves Puffy and this and that. Whatever. I'm, I'm not gonna front. I, I'd fuck the shit out of Diddy. Like, I'm just keeping it a buck, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, like why not? Like, you know, Diddy's attractive, you know what I'm saying? Get him off of, like, a, a bottle of Ciroc, like, you know, a shot of Ciroc. You know what I'm saying? He got plenty of Ciroc, like, you know what I'm saying? Get him fucked up. See, when he does it, though, right? I almost feel it like it's a... It's a little more intelligent. I don't know, maybe there's intelligence in both of them. Like, I almost see... A method to his madness. Yeah. Well, I'll not that I'm saying it, I agree with it and that I would do that shit. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what. But I think 
it's almost like a social experiment against society like saying look how dumb y'all are like like look what y'all will go for like <laughs> like i'm gonna show you i'm gonna push this boundary so far and just sh put yourself back in your face and show you how ridiculous y'all are through the shit that he's doing that's kind of what i believe he's doing that song that he put out uncharged up i think i've seen it that was right in the middle of the Drake Meek Mill battle. Right. It had him with a verse of someone that may or may not be Drake. Okay. It got four million views. He is the most listened to battle rapper who did a song in the history of the world. No other active battle rapper, and you could take it back to Eminem or whoever else had a song with that many views and whatever the, the equivalent of that was back then. Well, you know why that was, that though. That then, Daylight. And, and let me just sort of put it in perspective for you. Like, Murder Mook has put out mixtapes. Murder Mook puts out music. Uh, Loaded Lux has songs with like Method Man and Red Man and big productions. Let's analyze and why that happened, Vlad. Okay. I'm an analyst. Okay. Let's, let's analyze. That happened because that battle at the time was so hot. Yeah. And everybody was waiting for a response from Meek Mill. Online, that daylight shit was filed under like Meek Mill response. Well, it would be a Drake response. Or whoever the fuck response wait no 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 oh yeah response to meek mill yeah to meek mill yeah, yeah. Okay, okay got it like so it, it, it said like meek mill response oh, and when me, you me, press me, play meek mill diss. it was that so all he did was attach himself to some shit that was popular at the time that Correct. battle was super popular you're 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 giving me all these other examples about you know murder mook and all these other dudes whose shit didn't sell that much they just didn't attach themselves to some shit that was so on fire at the time that they benefited from that. That's all he did. That, I mean, and it's genius. It's genius. You see what I'm saying? But what does that mean at the end of the day? Does that mean he's the nicest battle rapper? No. He's the most market savvy. There you go. The most market savvy battle rapper. And now, and these days, I guess that means something like that. That's a force to be reckoned with these days. Because internet being famous. market savvy can translate to dollars these days. Right. Well, he is internet famous. Right. One hundred. You don't. You don't have a product you put out and get four million views and think that you just made no mark on nothing. Right. And I've heard him say some shit. Like, he got some lines. He's and nice. I, yeah, he's nice. He's nice. But is he the nicest battle rapper? No. Like, I, I, I got dudes that I, you know, like more. But, you know, I'm more yeah. on some East Coast shit. But he gets mentioned in the top tier group. I think, yeah. And I think he's dope for being mm -hmm. able to, you know. But... You know, he's gotten there in a way that, you know, he's crossed lines that I would never cross. That's all I can say. Me, like, I, I, I don't gang bang. You know, I don't, I'm not into the to gang things as far as, um, you know, having problems. Oh, we don't, we don't rock with them, you know, so. Whoever whoever is paying me for my services, I'm I'm a, you know I'm a, I'm a execute you know I'm gonna do what you want me to do you know. The pussy was good. The pussy was good. Yes, as my mama said, the boy got his first piece and lost his damn mind. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that was your first first time you that had sex. That was my first time. It hurts first time. Yeah.